Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. And I have been busy printing. We've got the beginnings of yet another dinosaur friend from Mini Monster Mayhem. I had a lot of fun printing and I've gotten started on painting that Ankylosaur. Uh, so he's not here at the moment. But today we're going to be joined by their nice big sauropod, Brontosaurus, Patasaurus, Brachiosaurus whatever saurus you want to call it we're going to take a look at this one today so i was expecting this to be massively gigantic and i got to give credit where credit should be due the fact that i fit everything on my tiny little frozen sonic mini um, i'm not going to name names and single everybody out but there have been a few patreon accounts where they're just like nope sorry can't help you if it didn't fit uh, i do appreciate the fact that everything is keyed and tested to fit on the tiny printers because some of us just would rather spend all our money on more models instead of a bigger printer. Uh, and definitely, it is it is a good printer for the value. If you haven't picked up a Frozen uh, and you're looking for a printer to get started with, I, I cannot recommend it enough. Any of the newer ones, the, the mono LCD screens, I think you're going to be in good shape. Notice we've got all kinds of webbing and rigging all over it because we are going to build a platform carrying version. There is available all the files you'll need if you'd rather just have it you know out in the wild out and about without all of the extra gubbins on it but let's show you the rest of the parts so everything's been hollowed out here we have his head nice long and big where's our GW here we go just to give you guys a good sense of scale And then finally, we have the tail as well. Everything is hollowed out. No failures. Now, I've been printing some of the other dinosaurs from this set, and I did run into a couple weird spots, but I'm pretty sure that was me and not the files themselves. I will take responsibility for all errors before I ever blame the creators, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I messed up and put it too close to the edge. So here we have about the main body. I do have the base getting printed. It's nothing spectacular. It's just a nice little rocky base, but he is definitely going to be overhanging it in just about every single direction. So as I said, you see there's some spots there on his back. That's because we've got a whole canopy section to put on there. And it's going to be quite a few pieces. So we have the first two, the front and the back. And then we're going to have the side pieces. And you can see here that kind of arc is going to basically sit on that cut in his back. And then everything is basically going to attach like so. And then to top it off, who wants to travel on all that, you know, out in the hot sun in the desert or wherever these dinosaurs live? We've got a nice cloth canopy. I believe this goes in the middle. This is going to cover the front, basically sitting on this post like so. And then the same thing in the back, or I might have gotten them mixed up. One goes in the front, one goes in the back. So you can see it's a, quite a bit of pieces here, but that's okay. It did take me a few days to get everything printed, but you know, I can't argue with that. Nice thing, if you've got models on reasonably sized bases, you absolutely could be having all sorts of characters hanging out while this guy is plodding along to wherever his destination may be. Um, oh, okay, does this have a staircase? I think outside of 30 millimeter bases, maybe 32 millimeter bases, you're gonna be really pushing it. 25s, 20s, squares, those will fit. Those will fit for sure in our little side lookouts. And we can at least fit a 25 millimeter. Will the 30 millimeter fit? You betcha. Whoa, okay. So it's good to see there's actual space here on the model itself. So if you want to have this overladen with Oh, let's say a bunch of lizard men or something, skinks, that would absolutely work. Now I'm wondering if I have enough skinks to populate this thing. I don't even know. So I'm going to do like I did with the Anklius, where we're going to get the dinosaur all put together first. I'm going to see if I can build the lookout how to thingy 
And if I can keep it, I'm assuming I can probably keep it separate from the rest of the body. And then maybe we'll just keep the canopies off for now. So sit tight, we'll put it together, and we'll see how everything turns out. All right, guys, we went ahead and put, well, we put our platform together. Grab the base. I don't know why, but it makes me think of shortbread. I'm really in the mood for some good old-fashioned English shortbread now. Actually, that sounds really good. Hmm. I haven't eaten lunch yet as I'm filming this. It's been a, a morning of getting things ready. But anyway, we've got our big old stompy long neck put together and I gotta say overall that's a really good fit and for the most part just about all the models this release from Mini Monster Mayhem have been really solid in that regard so let's get an actual model up here here is a Reaper human that's not Reaper that's WizKids that's Reaper put our yeah you can see it's pretty big um, with the platform attached, it's going to take it even further. So if I remember correctly, the top part is going to ramp up. You can see here we've got like a harness thing that's going to go right there where there's that notch in his back. And then we've got the beam for the support that is going to be sitting on his tail. Now getting everything to lodge in place is going to be the challenge. Uh, it obviously is meant to be glued on, but I just haven't done that yet. And you can see here, so with him on that tiny little base, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with this base or not. Um, the footprint, not too bad, but he does kind of go in every possible direction. And the nice thing is, you can fit all kinds of figures up here on that platform of his. Dependent upon the base size, so keep that in mind. Uh, one of the things that I really appreciate about this is there's no crew available. Why would I appreciate that? Well, because then you can crew it with whatever you want. Uh, my first thought, obviously, is going to be put lizard men and skinks all over it. What a perfect model for this. Um, you can use it as a proxy for all sorts of stuff in a lizard men list, or if you're doing Kings of War in some kind of a salamanders type deal. Um, Obviously, larger size bases are going to be an issue getting them on there and up there. Let's see if this is going to tip him over completely. That's like a 32. Oh, whoa, yeah. That's <laughs> what I exactly don't want to have happen. Maybe we'll try to balance things out. You guys are going to have to eat. Better yet, let's just take it off that base for the moment. It's probably safer that way. Let's see. Can I fit a storm cast up there? Probably would help if I had that platform on correctly. I guess you could. <laughs> it's not really safely secured in there. It's definitely not within the rope boundaries, but you could toss a couple stormcasts up there to carry. If you don't mind everybody just kind of standing on the banisters and support beams there. I'm just, I feel like playing that game where you to balance everything out slowly but sure okay hey we've got a pile of people up here maybe if you wanted to war it up you can uh, stick a bunch of guns and orcs all over it and use it for some sort of a squig behemoth squigamoth I don't remember what they're called but yeah just a fun model overall and I gotta say for this whole set of figures it's been a lot of fun especially if you dig dinosaurs or if you have somebody in the family that digs dinosaurs i don't think you could really go wrong here and like i said i think there's a lot of uses you can get out of something like this oh and you know what i didn't even put the canopy up silly me so i don't even remember where it goes now i, I have no idea <laughs> so yeah there's the canopy sets I think one's supposed to go like this. So you might want to leave it off if you plan on having lots of larger models. And then obviously one over here. Maybe this is supposed to go like that. I guess. I'll have to look at the webpage. I don't even know. But I'm probably going to keep it off just for the purpose of 
you know, being able to toss as many models on there. And I think once it's glued on, that will definitely help things out because it's not really straight on there. Yeah, I don't know about the base. Maybe if I can get it just right so I have at least all four legs touching it in one way or another, then we'll be in good shape. And because you guys demanded it and because I couldn't resist it, our dinosaur caravan is going to continue. Yes, we have started printing a three-headed Kerberos T-Rex. And this should be a very massive and fun project, and I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to paint that, and hopefully uh, you guys are going to stick around because we'll have him up in the next week or so after this video. So, or you'll see it because I've got them all posted by then. So, either way, I will put a link down below to the My Mini Factory page for Mini Monster Mayhem if you want to have a menagerie of giant dinosaurs plodding along and transporting all your goods and peoples. And I honestly couldn't really blame you. <sighs> with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.